Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Mole Trap coming at you here, and this is going to be an exciting game from what I have heard. I'm going to be bringing you game two of Oz vs. Ace, Lake, I'm sorry, formerly Lakehaf, now Huashan Oz vs. Air Force Ace. Uh, this is game two, so if you uh, don't want to have game one spoiled, you should probably go back and watch it now. Um, <clears throat> I did... <laughs> I was thinking about just doing this whole set. I may go back and do the first game just for continuity's sake, and in which case, if I do go back and do the first game, I'll probably have uploaded it before this, so uh, this probably won't seem very um, to have a point what I'm saying right now. But if I haven't uploaded it, then well, I'm not going to do it just because it's a 30-minute Terran versus Terran between two players that I don't really like very much, Haya and and Ruby. Um, I don't really like either of them. Ace fighting! Uh, it looks like, uh, was that Russian, I think? Russian guy there in the audience? It's cool. Um, anyways, yes. But this is supposed to be a very exciting game, from what I've heard. Um, so I want to do this. I may continue on and do the rest of the set. I'm just not sure. Um, anyway, uh, I should give you the colors, by the way, since this is a Protoss versus Protoss matchup. Backo is going to be the orange Protoss, and uh, that means that Reach is going to be the blue Protoss. So Reach is in the top right, and Backo is in the bottom left there. And um, someone told me this is the most exciting game, hands down, of the season. Which is hard to believe, because this season contains, um, you know, Boxer versus Killer. And this season also contains just the very first week, like the second day of Pro League or something, was um, Luxury vs. Up Magic, one of the most exciting games I've ever seen. Um, very, very epic mech VZ. And um, anyway, I think it went mech. It might have gone bio mech, I don't remember. Um, I just remember it was awesome. Anyway, Reach is going for a one gate tech build. Looks like Backhoe's doing the exact same thing. So we're going to see some normal PvP to start things off with. Looks like they're both sending scouts at the exact same time. Exactly the same time as well, so it's pretty much mirror, mirror builds uh, all around on this a mirror map. Uh, this is a two-person map. By the way, this is one of the new maps. I still haven't gotten around to doing a preview of the new maps. I may have to just give it up at this point because if the new maps have been out for long enough that they're not really quite as new, but I may still go back and do that. We'll see. Um, I've been distracted lately. I I just took the GREs again um, yesterday. And I, I didn't do as well as I had hoped, so uh, I might even take them again. But I was, this past week I've been studying, trying to uh, up my vocab level so I could get a higher score on the verbal test there. I wonder if they know him or something. Um, anyway, so that's why I haven't been doing as many games. And uh, um, Anyway, but I hope, hopefully I'll do some more games here pretty soon. I was going to start a temp job today, actually. But luckily, the temp agency flaked. Well, they didn't flake. The the people that had uh, said they were going to hire someone from the temp agency flaked. They decided they they had too much production and they needed a temp to fill in and do extra work. And then when they like called them back, they're like, "Oh, actually, we didn't have as much production as we thought, so we don't need a temp anymore." Um, so fortunately, that means I will be doing some games uh, this week. Uh, it's unfortunate because it means I'm poor as heck. Uh, still, but uh, by the way, I, I want to say thank you again. By the way, it's, I mean this is pretty pretty much normal play. So that's why I'm not saying anything about what's going on. Uh, we've got both of them, I believe, going for range. Uh, it, Backhoe has made a couple zealots here. It looks like Reach didn't make any zealots. It looks like he went straight for the goons, so he's going to be a little bit ahead in that. He may have, in fact, gotten his range upgraded a little bit earlier because of that fact. Um, so if it comes to a goon battle, like two goons on two goons, we might have uh, a little bit of an advantage to to Reach in that. Is he going to be able... Oh, it looks like one more shot will kill the pro! Kill it! Kill it! It's almost dead! And it dies! And he escapes back up the ramp. Um... Anyway, oh yeah, I wanted to say thanks again to uh, everyone that did give me donations recently because, um, you know, every day I realize how screwed, absolutely screwed I would be without you guys, so uh, thanks once again. And also, I'm not trying to, yeah, some a couple people had emailed me and asked about if they could donate without PayPal, and the link in my channel page now has a way you can do it by credit card if you really want to. But um, anyway, sorry, getting back to the game though, uh... Pretty unexciting so far, actually. Uh, Reach coming in here with a couple goons. 
Uh, he may have his range upgraded. Maybe he's trying to make make use of that fact, but he's going to get chased down there. Oh, and he distracted. Oh, he's going to get a scout in. Nicely done by Reach. He's distracted him. Oh, he's going to see that robo. Uh, he saw that robo. I don't know if he saw that second gateway, but he saw the robo bay there. Um, so nicely done by Reach. Running in with his Dragoons as a distraction. Uh, making uh, Bako pull his Dragoons away from that protective area and sneaking the probe in. He sees the expansion, he sees the Robo, so again, mirror builds, complete mirror builds, and now he's just going to run his Dragoons back to his base here um, and, uh, and and kind of play safely. So both of them doing exactly the same build here, uh, except for the difference of a couple Zealots on Bako's side. Um, and look at that, both their Nex Nexus is warping in at exactly the same moment. Um, uh oh, we're seeing a critical uh, change in play style here. Bako Maynarding three or four extra probes to his expansion. Just kidding. Um, another gateway going down for Reach here, and uh, the robotics still is about to warp in. We're going to see if he's going to go for the um, support bay or the observatory. Probably the support bay. He's probably going to go for Reavers first because he's scouted that robo. Um, and, and so he knows that he's not going to need, need observers terribly quickly, and there he gets the observatory anyway, so whatever. Um, I guess, you know, he didn't see, he didn't get all the way into his base, so it's possible he was just going for a DT drop, and so that's what he's thinking, is he needs observers for that. Um, if he'd scouted the entire base and not seen the, the Citadel or Templar archives or anything like that, he would have been able to just go for Reavers first. But as it is, they're both going for observers first. Probably going to have, um, again, observers just crossing the map. Um... Uh, countering each other there, uh, not countering each other, but I mean, both both players are probably going to send their first observer to each other's bases to see what the other's up to um, first, and then and then probably get some reavers after that, and then we'll see some reaver on reaver action with goons and what have you. Oh man, that probe got pwned. Um, <laughs> no, no scout for you. I'm not sure exactly what he was expecting there. Uh, maybe he was hoping that um, that breach had moved out and he was going to have a chance to run in there. Both players getting their gas at the same time, too. So, continuing on with the mirror build um, <laughs> for both players. Reach now getting a Citadel down, actually. So, Reach is not going to go for Reavers, after all. Um, an interesting pick, considering the fact that he's already got his Robo uh, Bay up there. Um, we're going to see if Bako goes for the same thing. Bako producing uh, another Zelda, it looks like, there, and some more gateways. He does have the robotic support bay down, so so we are going to see Reavers. And so Reach is basically going to be at a little bit of a disadvantage here for a moment while he gets um, the right tech out. But once he gets the Templars out, he's going to have a bit more of an advantage there. So there's going to be a window for Bako to be able to, to gain an advantage here. Um, oh, oh, he's going to... Oh, takes out the Observer. Nicely done. Um, so it's going to kill that scouting information, but that observer already ran around his base. I don't know if he saw that citadel. It doesn't really matter if he did, actually. Actually, he might not even be going for Templar tech. He might be going for speed zealots, um, is another possibility here. Um, we're going to have to see what he does, but Bako's moving out now. He's probably got a reaver, um, in a shuttle to follow if he's not with his army already, and he's just going to move his army into place and get ready for this attack. Uh, we'll have to see if he's going to actually go in and attack... Or he may, oh, he is he, oh, I thought he was going to run up to the north and then ferry his troops into Reach's main there. But he's going to back off a little bit here. So he does have the shuttle out now, probably with the Reaver inside it. Oh, I don't know if the Observer saw that shuttle moving out there. Probably not since he was focusing on his army um, for just that one moment that it was there. And the shuttle coming back to his base now. Maybe he's just trying to hide the shuttle uh, from the Observer. And now he's going back to pick up the Reaver and then he's going to move out again. Uh, we're going to have to see here. Um... Okay, there's the shuttle right by the Robo facility, so the Reaver's going to pop out in just a moment. I'm really curious to see if Reach has gone for Templar tech or if he's gone just for some kind of speed zealot thing. Um, it looks like he might even be setting up to just protect his third base and uh, take another expansion and play a, a macro game instead. Um, but his army is moving out now. We might see a huge battle here on the top. Reach has the high ground, but uh, Bako does is able to move up there. He's got two Reavers in play. A lot of Zealots. Those Zealots are running away. They need to stay away from the Reaver fire. Now the Zealots move in. They have no choice but to move in here. He's trying to try and spread them out. Some of them going right after the Reavers. One of the Reavers goes down. Not very well protected by Bako. The other Reaver is still alive, though, taking pot shots at those Dragoons. And just too many forces there. Too many tech forces. Those Reavers just playing a critical role in that battle. And Reach having to fall back. Now, I'm not sure why he moved out there without any real tech units. 
um, like Templar or anything like that. He really needed to wait for a Psy Storm. And now Reach falling back to his natural expansion here. And he's moving in. Back home moving in. He needs to protect his shuttle though. He's almost ran into Dragoon Fire. There's the Dark Templars running in. Um, I don't know if he has... It looks like he has 